Hello, and welcome to the walkthrough of Manage Faculty and Students. Previously listed as User Dashboard, Manage Faculty and Students is where you will have access to manage your faculty and students within your subscription, as well as bulk import users and students, which is covered in another video. Additionally, some of the material covered in this video is applicable to different roles. If you are the main administrator for your subscription, you should also be a subscription manager. If you are not already a subscription manager, please reach out to your current subscription manager to have this role assigned. To access Manage Faculty and Students, please navigate to the drop-down menu in the top left corner and under My Account, select Manage Faculty and Students. From here, you will be able to see all of the faculty in your subscription, all of the students in your subscription, and any users who are pending, meaning that they have not logged in and accepted their new licenses and roles. In both the students and faculty section, you can scroll to the bottom of the page and export the roster of faculty and students in a CSV file. First, to take a look at your faculty, if you would like to look at all of your users at the same time, you are more than welcome to, but you can also search for a specific user. And from here, you will be able to see their basic information of their name and email, their organization, their license solutions, what grade bands they have listed, their roles, who they report to, as well as the date of their last login. From here, you can also select the three dots to the far right, where you can edit the person, inspect their roles, manage their roster, view the students in their classroom, replace this user, or remove the user. We're going to take a look at a few of these key action items, and the first one we're going to look at is edit person. From here, as the subscription manager, you will be able to add roles and add licenses to the user. All you would have to do is click on this add role or add license button. And from here, it would allow you to select a license from your subscription to add to the user. You can also edit the user and their roles using this pencil icon. And you can edit the user's grade band by using the pencil icon as well. You can also replace the user. This is a key feature for if you have any users who are going to be, for example, out for an extended period of time who might need a substitute to oversee their classroom. You can also manage the classroom roster. From here, as the subscription manager and administrator, you will have access to add students into this classroom, manage the seating of students in the classroom, meaning what solutions they are seated in, as you can see up here in the top right. You can move a specific student if you select the student, and you can drop the student from this classroom. Moving students and dropping students from classrooms allows them to be added into a different classroom. Moving the student adds them directly into another user in your subscription's classroom, and dropping the student allows them to be open in your subscription to be picked up by another teacher. All of the student's information will still remain the same with the student, whether they are moved or dropped. From here, you can also view the students in this user's classroom, which takes you over to the Students tab. Again, you can look at all of the students in your subscription by simply selecting the Students tab. You can look at a specific teacher's students or search a specific student's name as well. But to look at this te teacher's classroom, we have the student's basic information of their name, the student ID, the status of the student on whether or not they are seated in a classroom or dropped in the subscription, their level of differentiation based off of their student profile, their login method, solutions they're seated in, their assigned grade level, and corresponding grade band, the date that the student was created, and the date that the student was dropped, if applicable, and the last completed profile date for the student. From here, you can also take a look at the three dots on the right, where you can edit the student, edit their seating in the classrooms, and view the roster of the classroom again as well. You can also take a look at the student's unique learning system summary, information regarding their completed profiles, checkpoints, and benchmarks, as well as take a look at their Polaris roadmaps. In this page, you can also scroll to the bottom and export the roster of this specific classroom into a CSV file.